Welcome back. Um, in the last one, oh shit. Whatever. Let's do it. Um, in the last one, we uh, pretty much just made progress with Jeff. We're still trying to make it through this place. We're ultimately trying to get back and or get to Paula, who seems to be calling us out for help. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. We got a monkey coming with us, and we're just, yeah, trucking along. Um, I did look up some stuff, though, just to make sure I can progress so that we don't get stuck. Because I always seem to get stuck in this game. The monkey, the bubble monkey, took a piece of gum, chewed it up, and started blowing. And this was something I never thought to do. I figured we'd get around to the rope and push it down. I never thought the monkey itself would need to chew some gum. So this is something I probably would have missed if I didn't look it up. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. That looks like the exit, though. I don't want to go leave just yet. We didn't get to go up here and explore it last time around. Okay, yeah, good. It's a present. Jeff, open the present. There is a cheap bracelet inside. Sweet. Let's equip it. Nice. Wait. Nothing there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. Sounds good. Oh god. Go away. Let's see if we could just get them to leave. Nope, still there. How about now? Nope, still there. Alright. Oh, well, just the mouse is here. It's fine. And he's gone. Nope. God damn it. I thought once I touched the rope, they would be able to get to me. Oh shit, no, I need to eat. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, well, I killed that. Let's eat the... Uh... Eat the hamburger. There we go. Left a present cookie. I also want to use, um... Because I haven't used them yet, I want to use some bottle rockets. I'm not sure if there's going to be a big boss coming up. It looks like there's a boss, actually. Let's see if we can... Only a mutant can absorb... Oh, yeah, no. Forgot, I don't even have the stone. Can't even... Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. Alright. Have fun. Monkey's useful, but... I mean, hey. Duty calls. It's weird, he just dipped out like that, didn't even talk to me. Thought we were friends. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. Hmm, maybe I should try... Let's see. Big bottle rocket. Bottle rocket. Let's try to fight one of these guys. So how they didn't go chasing me. One hundred and four. One hundred and four. That these guys must be strong. Twenty damage. Nineteen damage. Fuck. Um. Let's 
Fuck this. Oh my god. We'll try one more. Alright, we did it. I was about to use the big bottle rocket, which, I mean, it's not really a big loss, but... Picnic lunch. Damn, yeah, 618 XP, that's pretty good. Those things are strong as fuck. I really need- I could have used the monkey for that though, what the fuck? Why was that so tough? What's this? Picnic lunch. When eaten, you recover 80 HP. There's even a slice of your favorite cake. That's it. Alright. I guess we're not gonna fight those guys anymore. Oh, fuck. Pretty fast. Yeah, we gotta make sure we don't wanna... We don't have anything else but the picnic lunch to eat, so... I do kinda wanna fight him again, but I don't know. I don't wanna risk it. I wanna make sure I can save, at least. Who's this? Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker, referred you, right? And not only that... What? Who? My son? Oh. I can't, I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe 10 years since I last saw you. What the fuck? I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? No. Well, at least I asked. Mm -mm, okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. A girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase disorder that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in 10 years or so. 10 years? Come on, dad. What the fuck? It's crazy just didn't come to see me at the boarding school. Round thing. So it must be that flying saucer? Oh, shit. Good thing I went up here. Broken pipe inside. Another thing to fix. Well, I guess if this is my dad, it makes sense that this is uh, what he does. Instant revitalizing device. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revitalizes you. It's like a good night's sleep. Hmm. So I go back and fight that guy now? Oh, wait, there's a phone here. Yeah, we're going to go back and fight. Save, get Maxwell to save, and we're gonna go kill. I think that's too good to pass up right now. Because I think once we step into that machine, we'll probably never be able to come back here. And I do wanna. He said something about checking out Stonehenge, so I do wanna. Wait, what? Is that all Stonehenge is? Is a picture? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, go ahead. It'd have been nice if he took it when I was in the center, but... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that's a ton- that's a hole! What the hell? Oh, shit! What is this? For some reason, something that looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. How do I fix a contraption that looks like a iron? Okay, so I can't. Looks like I can't do any of this. That sucks. I wonder what was down there. Yeah, it seems like it. But I want to. I also want to fight. Yeah, let's fight this dude. 
Oh, I got him green even though he turned around. <laughs> okay. The detection must have been off. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, we're gonna use this big bottle rocket. Whoa, 541 damage, holy shit. 618 XP, left to present, picnic lunch. And a level up, boom. I wish I had more of those bottle rockets. But uh, that's it, we're not gonna fight anymore. No more cheap items that we could use to beat those guys, so. Just gonna save and do what my dad told me to do. Let's go in here. Alright. So now what I'm supposed to do? Let's get together again in ten years or so. Wait, what? <clears throat> Am I supposed to get inside this machine? Huh. Oh, let's look this up quick. Uh, Get back to Threed and rescue your friends. After you talk to him, climb in. Just approach and push against it. What? Push against it? What the fuck are you talking about? What the hell? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for- well, he's right there. <laughs> for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? What? So this- this isn't Miruk. I'm glad you decided to take my advice. Alright then, stay at a nearby town and get some rest. Before you take a break, be sure to call me. Be on the lookout for any shady characters. How did he call me? I have no phone. What the fuck? Is that a mistake? I'm supposed to... E equals MC square right there. Hmm. Am I glitched? I am very confused. Let's try again. Maybe I shouldn't have gone to Stonehenge? Are you kidding me? There's something I have to use on it? Let's get together again in 10 years. What the fuck's going on? Alright, something is wrong here. Um, even though he doesn't... Okay, um, he'll instruct you to use the Skyrunner to get back to Threed and rescue your friend. After you talk to him, Climb in, just approach and push up against it, and you'll be on your way back to Threed. It didn't work. 
All right, we're gonna um, close the game actually and reopen it and see if that fixes it. I have a feeling that we're glitched. And it, I don't know where you are planning on sleeping, but have a good rest. Go ahead and turn the power off and have a good night. All right. Shut that down. I'm gonna reboot it real quick. We can get it up in time. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense why it's not working. So I feel like it has to be something that happened. Am I recording? All right, we're good. Maybe because I went to Stonehenge and fought somebody. is happening all right we're gonna stop here we're gonna look up a fucking youtube video i have a feeling we just maybe we're doing something wrong or it's not clear enough but i don't know what the fuck all right thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one bye Okay, what the fuck? It works now? You guys saw that, right? Okay, whatever. That shit was way too finicky. God damn. What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? What button? It's like, uh, a fuck ton of them. <laughs> God damn. That was so annoying. So a little too precise with that one or maybe i had to talk to the dad and then get in immediately after talking to the dad and if you did anything else after talking to him it would negate getting in that's my only assumption is that you have to talk to the dad and then get in instantly after you talk to him or else it will negate getting in for some reason i think i don't know that's my assumption though but other than that it could just be finicky and you have to be precisely at the right pixels some shit, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, let's just fucking keep on going. <laughs> God, that was annoying. We are just zooming right straight to the place. Oh, I could detect her? Damn, can we just keep this thing? Just, just breeze straight, straight past this game. <laughs> yeah, where are they anyways? They've got ambushed. It was like they got buried somewhere. That's what it looked like.
Is it, why is it circling? Am I supposed to press a button? Oh no, it's slowing down, okay. There we go. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Alright, well, Jeff's dead. <laughs> man, what? <laughs> Did I break through the floor? Man, oh man, did that ever scare me? That Skyrunner. I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong. Really nearsighted. Kind of shy. And I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want to be... I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? No. <laughs> so why did you call me? Are you just making fun of me? This is just the way I am. I hope you want to be my friend, okay? No. Okay, yeah, I guess you have to say yes. Alright, let's get back to the journey then. Surprised Jeff didn't die from that crash. Jeff joined you. Alright, we got our third party member already. It took so long to get Paula, so I'm surprised that Jeff would just come kind of quick. As soon as we got Paula and went back to the town, um, Jeff was just in the right next town. Like, yeah. I guess things are progressing a lot faster now. The door is locked, so now we have Jeff's items. Yeah, we can just use the bad key machine. Jeff used the bad key, the door opened. Hmm, this is the same um, area that the Stonehenge looked like, so that must be um, a signifier of underground, maybe? Alright, so, now that we are free, that took a while, we need... Yeah, we need to save. Damn, we are lagging. And then we need um to go Oh, you know, this is where I got jumped though. What do you have to say? A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. The boy had a red cap. Hey, it was you. Yeah. Why was your hotel in the fuck? Why did you let this happen? Let your hotel get invaded like that. Alright, let's save. Miduk, it's your dad. Yep, okay, thanks. Damn, I'm about to level. Alright. Okay. Um. Where do I go to now? I think we'll just go straight to the to the guide. Yeah, we'll just use the guide. Damn, we are lagging. Is there too many characters on screen? Maybe I need to close some applications. Let's see. Yeah, hard hat and copper bracelet. Oh shit, I need to get money. Let's get like, yeah, let's get the 900. Can I just go back? Yep, there we go. Oh wait, damn, how much did I withdraw? That's not correct. Alright, give me the copper bracelet. There we go, five defense, sell that back. Hard hat for Jeff. And you could sell that. 
And that's it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think that was a glitch. It said like we had like only $1,000 or something. There we go. All right, so now we got Jeff decked out. Um, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I need a couple dollars. Just take like 50. Take 52, round it off. Let's see. Dump some stuff. I wonder if I could stand still and if he'll show up. Try it out real quick. Oh cool, it does happen. Yes, I can cover the bill. Um, do this. Do this. There's no more monkey. And there's probably something else. Or is that it? I guess that's it. There we go. Alright, so now let's look up the guide. Hmm. Oh, okay. This is Jeff's... Jeff fixes stuff based on his IQ. Is that right? What's his IQ? 13. What does it say? If Jeff's IQ is above 12, he can fix a valuable broken air gun and broken iron. How do I fix that, though? Do I have to go to sleep? Let's go to the, um... Let's go to hotel. See if that fixes it. Oh wait, I need the map. Yeah, okay. Damn, there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. <laughs> Incredibly laggy. Save first. Yeah, I'm gonna level up next battle. Medic is. Let's stay the night. Fuck. 180. That's a lot to stay the night. Um, let's just do 200 actually. Let's stay the night. Don't really need to. Everyone looks pretty, pretty ready to go. Okay, yeah, so that's silly. So Jeff has to go to bed for him to work through the night so he doesn't sleep. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken air gun. After being fixed, the broken air gun became the Magnum air gun. Well, all right. Let's uh, see if he can equip that. Yeah, look at that shit. Damn. Alright. Wait a minute. Says once he's above IQ 12, he can fix both the 
air gun and the broken iron. Do I have to sleep again? Because he still has that. What is the broken iron anyways? Can I sleep? No. Alright, we're gonna dump another 180 and spend the- What the fuck are you looking at? Sir, oh, you got up early today. The guest newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Two human kids escaped by somehow opening their cage. Wait, the zombies have a newspaper? And they wrote about <laughs> what they did? Let's talk to this guy. Good morning, did you sleep well? Well, yeah, but... I want to sleep again. I have gotta test this out. I'm willing to spend 180 to test it. Give me another 200. If he fixes the iron in in um when we're sleeping, that's gonna be the most bullshit thing ever. You should just fix both of them in one night. Okay, no, he didn't. All right, so I don't know why he didn't, but at least that's a little bit more um. It's a little bit relieving because I was thinking that I had to spend multiple nights just to fix something to fix everything So that's good. Be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard I guess he's just not gonna fix the broken iron yet. I don't even know what that's for. I imagine it's like the eraser Oh, wait, that's true. I don't I didn't save so I could always reset mm, We'll think about that later Actually, no, I could do that right now. Let's grab this real quick. And we'll just reset. And, um... Yeah, we'll save $180. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll pick it up and figure out what we really need to do in the next one. There sure is a lot going on right now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.